Hey guys, Ken Smith, Ken Smith Fishing. So two videos that are actually from several weeks ago from the Bass Cat Dealer meeting that I had this footage that I hadn't been able to get up for you guys. So the first one today is going to be the era showing you some, some high speed runs in the air. And I'm really surprised how easy the boat was to drive and how stable it was to drive. And then some really cool side by side footage of a, of a cougar just flying by us. So we're going to show you top speed today. Era with a 300 R on the back of it. And then, uh, you know what, I'll tell you what we're gonna do at the end of this video when I come back, what we got for you on Thursday. But before we go there, let's really quick do a spark energy drawing. Still only four lakes that anybody's even way to fish for big fish, um, for big fish for the year, for the $2,000 bounty in each of those 10 lakes. If you wanna know more about that, go to sparkfishing.com. And this, this week's winner is a guy by the name of Sterling Martin from Comfort, Texas. Oops, Sterling, I dropped your ticket. Anyway, Sterling Martin from Comfort, Texas. Congratulations. You'll get an uh, uh, envelope in the mail in the next couple of weeks that says rewards on it. Don't throw that away. That's a $250 uh, gift card from your friends over at Spark Fishing. So here we go. Let's check out uh, some pretty cool footage from the Bass Cat Dealer meeting. All right, boys. So this is going to be my last boat ride of the day or boat drive, boat ride slash boat drive. I'm with my buddy Kenny. Y'all will remember Kenny. He uh, he fished with your buddy's son, Jasper. who was in Af Jasper, who was in Afghanistan. And y'all, he's gonna get to fish championship with his daddy, right? Yes, he is. Excellent. So we are in an era, which is the fastest bass cat, and it is featuring a 300 Mercury R, and the R stands for. So we're gonna drive around. Kenny knows the spot where we might get, it, it's pretty breezy out here. We're gonna go around a corner here. We're gonna wind it up. I'm a little afraid of it because not having a hot foot in any of these boats is very different, but we're gonna ride around there and wind it up. We'll see what she'll do. at four and a half, five and a half? Yeah. Jack play right where it is? Yeah. I want to go see Jack play. Right. 
I mean, I don't know that we hit 85, but I know we hit 84, 9, just like that. Yeah, you, do I mean my over Yes, like that. Did you hear me say it? Kenny said this to me before we took off. It's really interesting. So there's nothing in the boat, so it's running naked, really, really light, no power poles with the 300. But he had told me, be careful because it'll over trim real fast because there's no weight in the front end. So it'll carry that kind of speed, but you get you can keep the nose down with some weight up front. Mm -hmm. So I touched, I think 84.9, maybe 85, just like that. But if you saw the, when I first got it up rolling, it started walking on me and it's because I had just simply over trimmed it, which is, it's a different boat. It's a go fast boat and it's a go fast motor. And I'm used to trying to get the nose up as much as I possibly can coming out of a Ranger to make it go fast. You ain't got to do that in this. Now this boat runs really flat. You want it neutral. Yeah, you want yeah. it trim neutral. Because the boat, you want the boat to do its job as in the speed will get its lift. Yeah, so it's all wind lift as much as anything. Yeah. It's just it's just yeah. going so this, this boat will gain its lift as the speed goes. You don't have to necessarily use your trim to, to gain that's, that lift. That's what's funny. When I trimmed it down, it still picked up speed. And I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'll just yeah, leave it right there. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're trimmed up too high and once you trim it down, it, it's set right in the water and, and you're able to it's a lot easier to drive and it and it's a lot happier boat. Well, I understand now why so many guys run this boat. It is a fun boat. And so a fun tournament rig, even with the 250. This that's boat what I was is about to say. Fun. So you run it with the 250. Mm -hmm. What's your tournament load speed in it? Upper 70s. That's fast. Uh, upper 70s. That's really fast. And it's a smaller, it's a more narrow front deck. It's you know several inches shorter than my boat, but that's fun to drive. I'm gonna drive it in. Maybe not quite so fast. Keep forgetting, there ain't no hot. All right, we got 5% battery. Kenny wants to see what he can get going downwind. And I'm gonna hold on.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. When we come back on Thursday, I'm going to show you. So the, the the great big boat, the Jag, it's a 22 foot boat. And if you remember in my interview with Rick, he said he really liked that boat with a Verado on it. So for the dealer meeting, they hung a 400 Verado on it. And it is impressive. So come back thirsty to see the Jag with the 400 Verado on it. I think you'll enjoy that footage as well. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you all soon.